Now, appalling conditions closer to that of a Victorian workhouse than a modern high street chain. That's how MPs have described working practices at the retail giant Sports Direct. A report from the Commons Business Committee has concluded that some of the company's employees were treated like commodities rather than human beings. We'll speak to one of the report authors in a moment. First, though, let's remind ourselves of what Sports Direct boss Mike Ashley told the committee when he was called to give evidence. That was back in June. If you were a minute late, you got docked 15 minutes pay. You ask me what I think, I think it's unacceptable. You ask me what I think, I think it's unacceptable. If one of my kids went to work somewhere and they were two minutes late, they got fined 15 minutes pay, I wouldn't be very impressed by that. I think that's unreasonable. Do you accept that the company was effectively paying workers below the minim minimum wage? Uh, on that specific point, for that specific bit of time, yes. Do you think your company has outgrown your ability to manage it? Probably. A long time ago. Some of the things you've said to me today would actually lead me to believe that it's definitely outgrown me. Yes, yeah, so well, Labour MP Ian Wright, Chair of the Business Innovation and Skills Committee. You saw him in those clips there in the London newsroom for us now. Very good morning to you. Thank you for your time this morning. People morning. may well remember uh, those scenes where your committee was asking Mike Ashley those questions. Uh, what are the, the, if you like, the, the worst part of the conclusions you've drawn from what you heard that day? Um, there's a range of different things which uh, appalled the committee. Um, in terms of the, the way in which workers were treated, the culture of the organisation when it came to working practices, and we heard a little bit there, workers not being paid the national minimum wage, um, a six strikes and you're out policy, um, which meant that you, know, you could be having a strike against you for things like taking too long to go to the toilet or going off shift briefly to have a glass of water. Um, and you would be sacked um, for no real apparent reason. Um, equally zero hours contracts so workers couldn't really plan um, from one day to the next in terms of whether they would get paid or not. These practices showed um, absolutely an appalling culture that has no place in Britain in 2016. So what you have established is that these things did happen. Mike Ashley was the boss at that time. What should happen next? Um, we'd be very keen to work with Mike Ashley to ensure that these practices are stopped and that practices for workers in Sports Direct are improved. When he did come before the committee, he was dragged kicking and screaming uh, to the committee. It took about five months for him to get to us. Um, but once he was there, he was open and he was engaging. I hope that we can have a constructive dialogue in the future to ensure that the, some of the recommendations that we put in the report, some of the pledges and promises that he made to the committee can actually be enacted so that ultimately working conditions at Sports Direct are improved. Yeah, it's just let me ask you about that. I mean, you use the phrase constructive dialogue in the future. I mean, this morning there are going to be people going to work at, at Sports Direct, aren't there? And other people in other workplaces as well, because this happens to be a one place. I mean, do you have any confidence that as of today, it's different? It, Mr. Ashley has promised a, a 90 day review of working practices that will finish round about September. We will hold his feet to the fire. We're not going to go away and stop looking at this. Um, we think this is incredibly important in terms of improving conditions at Sports Direct. But you're right, Charlie, in terms of this is just one company. And although we think it's a particularly bad example of working practices where um, workers are treated like cattle, like commodities, it won't be the only one. Um, and what we want to do is, is use the Sports Direct experience experience to, to shine a spotlight on other companies. This sort of practice, this sort of economic and business model is completely unacceptable. Workers should be treated with dignity and respect and actually companies should comply with the law. And we hope that people will come forward, will whistleblow if things are happening in their companies that they tell us on the committee about it. In a funny kind of way, though, what's happening is it is acceptable because if I'm right in the way I analyse this, Mike Ashley is confessed he's admitted these things did happen those people did have what you would expect to be rights in a workplace trampled over and yet is it okay for these bosses in this case Mike Ashley to say afterwards okay we did get that a bit wrong I'll make sure in, in 100 days time and next year will be better is that enough I mean they're, they're actually there's no consequences is there if they do it for a while then they get rumbled I think you make a very important point and um, we could have the best laws in the world but if they're not enforced, if they're not complied with or some of the punishments uh, are weak and watered down, 
bosses can think I can get away with this scot-free um, you know I can write a check there could be a fine for 20,000 pounds but I've saved millions for my company that's not acceptable when working practices um, don't give workers dignity respect and laws are complied with compliance units whether it's HMRC uh, whether it's the health and safety executive should frankly throw the book at these bosses to give out a very clear signal that working practices like this in Britain in 2016 simply not going to be tolerated Ian Wright, thank you very much for your time. Ian Wright is Chair of the Commons Business Innovation and Skills Committee. Uh, yes, we should also uh, read you this statement. This is a statement from Sports Direct. They told us, we will study the contents of the committee's report very carefully. It is our policy to treat all our people with dignity and respect. And it goes on, uh, we are pleased to see that the committee has recognised Mike Ashley's commitment to engage in addressing any shortcomings in working practising practices at Sports Direct.